So you're probably wondering why we're moving all our stuff from this truck to this van. <laughs> and it's because we are now minivan owners. <laughs> we needed to buy a car that we could safely and comfortably drive back and forth from California to Florida, not once, but twice. We're going to be in Florida for a one month at a time, so we need to bring a lot of stuff with us. So a minivan it is. <laughs> and we're selling the truck. I mean, we're gonna be living on the boat. We don't wanna have these two big things and this truck should go to someone who's gonna- Use her like she needs to be used and not drive her around California cities. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tough driving around California cities. Gas prices, diesel prices are insane right now. So it's time to let her go. Also, we're in this weird park parking lot because the Marina Safe Harbor here in Alameda is being a pain in the butt. They're calling it an RV. They won't let us have this rig in their parking lot. They're, they're not being like super nice at all. And it's kind of like a chicken and the egg situation. Like a lot of stuff needs to happen in order for us to be the official owners of the boat. But as soon as we're official owners of the boat, they won't let us stay. Like as soon as we're on the boat, they say it has to leave immediately. Like we're not allowed to stay on it. We're not allowed to keep the boat there. It's so silly. But we also can't get into our new boat because we're not allowed to tell them that it's our new boat because then they'll kick us out. We have to like work on it in order to get it out <laughs> out of there. So it's so so silly. We're just gonna leave the truck in a parking lot nearby and use this van that's a little more low-key and that they'll allow in their parking lot. Take some tools and our valuable stuff over there so that it's not sitting in the truck. We're trying to take a boat that's been sitting in their marina for five plus years that's like kind of slowly rotting away and make it nicer, not in any rude way where we would disrupt anybody, but I don't know, at least give her a bath and they won't even like let us do that. They're just like immediately kicking us out and they're not taking into consideration any of our experience or anything. They just pretty much say, oh, that boat's ugly. Oh, you may want to live aboard. Get out of our area right this freaking second. So it's just an example of some of the stuff they have in the parking lot that, and they still won't let our camper, truck camper be there. It's crazy. We moved a bunch of our boards and other stuff from the truck camper onto the boat just to get them out of sight on the truck camper so we don't have to worry about it so much about leaving it in other locations because we can't have it in this parking lot. And we're still fully in like going through stuff, throwing stuff out, like here's another whole garbage bag of stuff we're throwing out. We have been trying to go through absolutely every single cabinet, drawer, everything we can to pull everything out so we know exactly what we have and then clean the area it was in and then organize it and put it back in. And I have to say, this is the biggest boat we have ever bought so far, but it definitely has the least amount of like garbage and junk. Like our last two boats, they had a lot of stuff on them, but this was pretty well cleaned out. Everything that is in here is like pretty valuable or useful or time to organize. I got something you're gonna love. Mm. It's a steering wheel coat hanger. <laughs> I like it. I found some rescue tape. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was an even trade. Okay, so one of our first goals is just to make the boat livable enough for us to be able to live in it while we're doing the outside, while we're hauled, because obviously that's the most important part, things that we can't do in the water. There was like a, a foam mattress on the bed back here, but I don't know, we always try to get our own mattress when we move into new boats but there was tons and tons of good foam and there wasn't v-birth cushions yesterday i templated out all of our v-birth cushion areas and now i'm repurposing our old foam and i put all my templates on the phone i have traced them out now i'm going to cut them out and now it will be easier to keep this foam because they can just pile up and we can put it in the v-birth and wait till that project comes and then we can move our mattress in here. We're taking our mattress from the camper because we love that mattress so much. $200 on Amazon, best $200 I've ever spent. Should I be using like a saw probably? Probably or an electric knife, but we don't have that. So we're just using what we got. Will we eventually go around with a straight edge and trim everything off so it's nice and flat yes but not today we just need to get these out of the way it's kind of like flying a fish <laughs> It's 
definitely not perfect, but at least now they're cut roughly and we have room for our mattress to go in the back. We got a bed, a that, bed, our first bed ever that we can get in from both sides. Watch, Bring. do it, do it. Come on, let's pretend like we're going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you have dirty paws. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, you can come up when we clean you better. You should definitely technically have way more of those little great things. Um, I just didn't buy enough and that's what we did on the camper and I still didn't buy anymore so it's gonna do but it definitely helped in the camper a lot and I didn't notice any mold so they're working. In the midst of all the craziness that is going on, we have a bed. Okay, folks, today is a big day. Billy, what day is it? We're moving the boat. Ready or not. We are moving the boat today. Whew. We have our tow boat membership renewed, unlimited gold towing, just in case. We are going on one engine because the other one is not getting proper water flow. It's not a blocked heat exchange or anything like that. I'm almost positive it's from the through hole seacock strainer somewhere in there. And I can't even shut the seacock to open up the strainer and see if anything is clogging in there. Um, so let's see, will we break down today? Will we need to use our membership? <laughs> By the way, if you're ever moving a boat, you should 1000% have Towboat US, not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but we have always had it. We have used it multiple times and it will save you a lot of money. I think we spent $190 to completely renew Yeah, unlimited water towing and unlimited land towing way worth it because one tow will cost you like at least like five hundred dollars or something like that and ideally we would have some more time to go through the boat and making sure everything is working relatively properly but the marina's kicking us out <laughs> It's so silly. It's so weird. Whatever, we're not gonna complain. We are very lucky that the yard was able to squeeze us in because originally they didn't think they were gonna be able to get us out until like February and we're like, please. And they found like one opening for the sling to get us out. So today is the day we move, potentially to the day we get towed. What can you do? We're excited. Good. We're cruising along at four and a half knots. Really not much throttle on this port engine at all. Just a little, just enough to get us cruising. And so far going pretty efficient. Knock on wood. Just hope this engine doesn't die on us. The other thing I really wanted to do before we left was clean the fuel. Like try to set up a pump and polish it through the, the rake cores on here. I didn't even get to do that. Now honestly, like I wouldn't be surprised Shh. if. <laughs> Don't say it. But still, like, it's important to know, like, there's a good chance that filter could get clogged. So in that case, we just, like, this Stop. is so bad. <laughs> we just drop the hook and try to swap out the filters. Hopefully it's calm enough where nothing's getting agitated in the tanks and that will prevent us from clogging. That is the face of somebody that's finally realizing exactly what we're getting into. <laughs> uh, it will be fun. 
Ayan. with us right now so we're going over seven knots on just one engine over ground that's yeah, going good we passed like the golden gate bridge and that's the mouth to the pacific alcatraz was over there treasure island a couple other islands yeah it's all going smooth we're running at like 1600 rpms temperature is holding right around 170 nice and steady oil pressure we're good My VHF was working, but it's working fine. Maybe uh, not. <laughs> uh, for me, got my request for an opening. Now, 10-4, I'll be working on that lift momentarily. Uh, you're coming up right now past the marina, correct? Yep, that's correct. Hey, 10-4, we have a little bit of work on the bridge. Let me just make sure it's clear, and I'll start going up here. All right, Roger that. Thank you. How does it feel to be captaining again? Good. You don't have to call to open bridges in the truck. I know. You just gotta look <laughs> at the signs super quick on the side of the bridges to make sure they're not too tall. We're gonna hit it in the truck. Gotta be honest, I'm impressed with how many things on this boat are working. Like the autopilot works, the VHF works, one engine works. The other one I'm sure works. We just gotta get the water flow. I'm not surprised because it's it wasn't not taken care of. It was just not used. Yeah, I guess it wasn't abused. But like with boats, when they just sit and not get used, that's when things stop working. But yeah. Okay, this is going to be your first bridge opening on this boat. How does it feel? There's like a navy boat yard over here in Vallejo Marina over on this side. Kind of a crazy area. This is called the Mare Island Strait, I believe. Mare Strait, something like that. But like a ton of industrial stuff going on back there, kind of run down, and then like all this industrial navy stuff. And then, and then you got a nice little marina over here, it looks like. Kind of wild. Vallejo, Mare Island, Causeway Bridge, we're all clear, thank you for the opening. No problem, have a good day. No problem. Okay, we are going eight knots, nine, almost nine knots on one single engine, which is kind of crazy. We don't really know this area very well, and we didn't know we were going to be like going with or against current, so if Did we were going against it, we would have been screwed. Well, definitely, yeah. I was not expecting it, like tucked back up there. I didn't think there was going to be that much current flow. Yeah, lesson for all you. Make sure you uh, pay attention to the currents before you leave for a trip, especially one where you're not super, super confident about your engine. Not good planning on our part, but we got lucky. Made it to the dock and can you believe we made it <laughs> with zero issues because i cannot so. believe it we made it we're on the guest dock we have a day here tomorrow it's supposed to like pour all day long but we can finish like cleaning and organizing not finish but you know get on it and then we'll get hauled in just a couple days